Um, so you guys are probably dying to know, how can I repair my credit if I yeah. do have credit issue? Um, one of you, if you guys been here and listening to us, you guys probably know what that number one thing is to pay your bills on time. Yes. Um, to pay off debts and keep balance low on credit card and other revolving um, credits. Mm -hmm. um, applying for new credit accounts. You guys, <laughs> so when, when the stores yeah. offer you a 20% discount to open up a new card and you're trying to build your credit, please don't open it. Right. It's, it's not, not a deal. 20%. If you're mm -hmm. carrying a balance from one month to the next, it's not, and you're getting, you're getting $20 off on that $200 purchase, it is not a good deal if you're carrying the balance. So mm -hmm. don't get the card. Right. Um, don't close unused credit cards. Okay, so if mm -hmm. you are establishing credits like me, it will hurt you more than us old people over here <laughs> that have credit for a long time. Right. So you just gotta be careful of that, okay. that you're not paying it off and then closing it. Um, because if you've had that account open for any length of time, over 12 months, mm -hmm. it's actually helping your credit, even with a zero balance. You just need to use it maybe once a year mm -hmm. to keep it active. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't apply for too much credit. Know that all oh, yeah. inquiries are hard inquiries, and they will stay out on your credit bureau for at least two years. Um, please don't dispute any... Oh. Collections just because you're on the tension of disputing. Um, what mm -hmm. happens with yes. the dispute is it, some people will go out and they will just take their credit bureau and they will put in a dispute which they're arguing the bill to every single lender that they owe money to. That's going to hurt you because that's not a true dispute. You only want to dispute those bills that are true inaccuracies on your credit bureau. So a true inaccuracy might come into play in um, POS culture. Yes. Everybody has the same <laughs> names. So a lot of times they'll track incorrectly at the credit bureau level. So if that truly isn't your bill, definitely you know, do a mm -hmm. dispute on it. Yes. But in my culture, so we might have juniors and seniors. Yes, right. So sometimes the parent doesn't have good credit and it's reporting on to junior's credit bureau. So in that case, mm -hmm. that would be a true dispute. That's right. But if, I mean, just to go out there and just dispute everything, it's not a good thing. Mm -hmm. It ruins your credit. Yep. Yeah. And you guys, if you guys want a free credit report, you guys can go to www.annualcreditreport.com mm -hmm. and pull from all three major credit bureaus that you know you can receive that once a year for mm -hmm. free. And don't pay for your scores. Just mm -hmm. get the credit bureau and you want to monitor your credit mm -hmm. on an ongoing basis. So that leads us into one example of our one of our borrowers that we pull credit in August. And as you can see here from three major, the three credit bureau, and then again in November, and you can see a 67 point um, jump from experience, 57 point jump from TransUnion, Equifax, 63 points. What was the difference? Because from my understanding was that one medical mm -hmm. um, collection and everything was the same that, mm -hmm. um, this person had really good credit mm -hmm. prior to, she had one medical bill that went into collections pretty recent, right, right, like July of 2019, and that one collection hit her credit bureau by about 67, 70, 60 some points, yeah. okay? What we told her to do was to call that collection agency, she had the money to pay the collection, she called that collection agency, and she asked them to, Pay, what it would take to pay to delete mm -hmm. this off her credit bureau. In other words, remove it in full. Normally, if you just pay off a collection, that will not, that'll just report as a zero balance, but the collection, that hit of a collection will still remain on it in your credit bureau. Pay to delete, they're actually physically removing and pretending like that collection never hit your bureau. That's mm -hmm. what happened in her case. So she did the pay to delete, you always want to talk to them, get it in writing before you give them any money to make sure that you've got something to hold them accountable. 
and then ask them to delete it off your credit, remove it entirely. Mm -hmm. I had one man that came in to me, I pulled his credit one year, and he came back about a year later and he said, okay, Peggy, I'm ready, let's pull my credit again. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, whoa, you know, he was in the 500s and he had a bunch, a ton of collections out there. And I pulled it and all these collections were gone. And he actually mm -hmm. got them deleted off for their credit bureau. Mm -hmm. So Sal, um, going back to your question, if a person pays the collection in full, it will only report as a zero balance unless you do this. Yeah. So, so this is huge. Another thing I wanted to just quickly um, mention with the pay to delete is I want you guys to understand this woman had a very low balance. I mean, we're talking less than $400 that she needed to pay. She, she, pro she probably paid less than that, and then they also deleted it. So we're not talking thousands of dollars worth of doctor bills that affected her. We're talking one bill below $400. Mm -hmm. So moving on, you guys are probably wondering, now how long does it take to rebuild my credit um, score? There mm -hmm. is no quick, easy fix to no. this, you guys. It all depends on the reason and um, making your pay payments on time. Um, delinquency and public record will stay out on your credit report for seven years. Um, bankruptcy will remain for 10 years and inquiries for two years. So we're going to stop for just One thing a quick that question. I do oh, want to bring in, sorry about that. No um, rebuilding your credit score, we have different tools through the credit bureau where once we've pulled your score, mm -hmm. we can do like what if type scenarios. So if you pay this off or if you do this, so to see approximately what that credit increase would be by yeah. doing that. Mm -hmm. So that's where it's so important. Please let's sit down and chat and we can play with those tools Absolutely. with mm -hmm. you. Everybody is so different. There is no one credit bureau that's the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. True. Okay, so we're just going to stop here and answer a really quick question here. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to Trish at 920-457-5626 or email her at trish.tootloff at cibmmortgage.com.